Hi everyone, I'm Rohit, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today I'll show you how to publish Amazon Simple Notification Service SNS notifications to webhooks with the help of AWS Lambda. Let's get started. We use Lambda because some common webhooks expect JSON key value pairs that SNS doesn't support when confirming the HTTP or HTTPS subscription. For example, an Amazon Chime webhook expects a JSON request with string corresponding to a content key. Similarly, Slack and Microsoft Teams expect a JSON request with a string corresponding to a text key. So if we want to deliver a message to these endpoints, we must transform the Amazon SNS message body JSON request using an AWS Lambda function. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the SNS console. Then select Topics and create topic. Select Standard Type and enter a unique name for the topic. Now scroll down and choose Create Topic. When the SNS topic is created, open the Lambda console. Navigate to the Functions tab and then choose Create Function. Name the function, select the runtime that you want to use and then choose create function. In my example, I'm using Python 3.12. The function creation might take some time. From here, we must implement some custom code to transform the SNS topics notification messages for the type of webhook endpoint we are using. In this example, the code I'm copying here will publish to a Slack channel. See the reference material to see the code for Microsoft Teams and Amazon Chime. In short, the Lambda function is using the HTTP POST request to the hooks.slack URL. You can see that the POST request has a message body with the keys, channel, username, text and icon emoji. The text key here captures the value from the Lambda event object, event, record, zero, SNS, message. This is passed from our SNS topic. Take a moment and pause the video here to further examine the Lambda code. Note, you can also find this code in the reference material. Next, let's modify the webhook URL and the channel values to direct the messages to your Slack account and specific channel. If you haven't yet activated webhooks in your Slack app, then go to the Slack tutorial, sending messages using incoming webhook. Follow the steps to activate incoming webhooks and then add a new webhook to your workspace. I'll copy my personal webhook URL and Slack channel name over now. Save the function code by choosing the save from the file menu and then choose deploy to deploy the updated Lambda function code. Let's test the function implementation using the Lambda console. Select the test button to configure the test event. In the event name, enter a unique name for the test event. In the template drop down list, select the SNS topic notification. Finally, select the save button. When the test event is configured, choose the test button again. If the response is 200, the message was accepted by the webhook and delivered to the corresponding channel. We now see the example message posted to the Slack channel. However, if the response was 400, then check the webhook URL to confirm that the key value pair is correct and accepted by the destination webhook. When you can successfully send the test messages to the webhook, you must then subscribe the Lambda function to the SNS topic. To do this, create a new trigger from within the Lambda function dashboard. Select the plus add trigger button and enter SNS trigger. In SNS topic section, specify the ARN or name of the SNS topic that we created earlier and choose add. After we do this, send a test notification from the SNS topic. To do this, navigate back to the newly created SNS topic in the SNS console. After we refresh the page, notice the new subscription which is the lambda trigger that we just created. Now choose the publish message button at the top right and enter a custom message under 
message body to send to the endpoint. Choose Publish Message. Then check the message that was posted to your Slack channel. If this test was successful, then we know that the messages that are published to this SNS topic will be forwarded to the Lambda function and from there will be sent to our webhook. This allows us to publish many useful notifications such as subscribe to CloudWatch alarms and then be notified in Slack, Microsoft Teams or Amazon Chime whenever an alarm is triggered. And now you know how to publish Amazon Simple Notification Service SNS notifications to webhook with the help of AWS Lambda. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.